Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series that I'm dubbing Coco Explorations. Basically just quick walkthroughs, hopefully five minutes or less, on something random that I've been tinkering with. So today's episode is on NS Slider, or more generally, sort of how custom controls have worked in the past with um, Mac OS X. And when I say in the past, uh, the reason I say this is because some people do custom controls differently. So you can make a cu custom control purely by just drawing uh, different views on screen, and you can handle mouse events and things like that. Um, what's sort of interesting about this example is it actually uses some of the existing mechanisms uh, that are put in place, such as NS Slider Cell. Now, NS Cell is sort of a Ceph soft deprecated uh, API, meaning that Apple doesn't really want you to touch it much anymore um, because it'll probably eventually go away, but that doesn't mean that uh, you can't use it because it's still there and it's only the, the only way that you can customize certain aspects of different things. So uh, in this example, we're sort of looking at it in a slider and uh, the nice thing about uh, not having to create your own custom slider is that you can still use the general NS slider component in a nib and it just kind of looks like a slider but you can actually customize it so we can see here this slider is actually the class has been changed to LED slider and I have set a bunch of images on uh, this guy already so if I actually run this you can see that uh, we have some custom sliders and they kind of work as you would expect so kind of cool um, generally how this works for custom um, custom controls in general that use uh, cells you generally subclass the thing that you want to work with so in this case I wanted to have a custom and a slider um, the the actual control itself does very little work it generally offloads most of the drawing work to the cell uh, at least this is how it has worked uh, historically and the general approach that uh, we're doing here is we're just setting the cell to be a particular subclass, in this case, uh, the slider cell that we have made, and I'll show you that in just a bit. But that's pretty much all the initialization that you do inside the actual control itself. Most of the work is just setting up the cell so that the cell can then do all the drawing for you. In this case, again, pretty much just a bunch of initialization stuff to set up some images and setting the cell. Uh, then what you see is uh, a few methods as well for setting up your images. So if I look at this a little bit, we can see that uh, the minimum image, we are actually setting cap insets on this so that the image will repeat if it's drawn into a rectangle. So my cap images just look like this, where they're just the, the small little cap. But you'll notice that obviously when I run this, right, the images actually get stretched out. And what's going on is that I'm just taking the little cap and I am expanding one part of the image so that it fills up until you know the, the section that I need. So that's essentially what's going on there is that we're simply saying take basically one pixel away from the particular edge that I want and repeat that if I go to draw this image. The slider cell itself you have to override two methods one is draw knob the other is draw bar inside flipped. Sort of self-explanatory but not necessarily that easy to implement um, draw knob is basically just taking the knob image, figuring out the rectangle that you give it, and then drawing the actual knob image that you want. So that's how that works. Um, the draw bar inside flipped is sort of the same idea. I need to draw all the bar, you know, the entire bar that I need to draw. And in this case, with our example, we have uh, different images on different sides. So what we're doing here is we're calculating basically a rectangle before the knob and a rectangle after the knob, and then we're just drawing these images into those rectangles. And that's pretty much it. So this is one way that you can deal with custom controls, is you can actually override the cell, and you can look at uh, the actual different cells themselves to figure out what you need to subclass in order for it to work. Um, there are sometimes bugs with doing this though, and uh, NS slider or NS cells in general are kind of iffy. Um, so some people have actually opted to simply forget that entirely and just make their own um, make their own subclass of a slider and implement the mouse uh, gestures themselves, which isn't a bad idea. The only uh, sort of downside to this is that then you don't get sort of the nice nifty um, you know and a slider inside the nib. You'd actually have to work with a custom view, which kind of sucks in some some regard. So. Anyway, that's uh, all I wanted to show for this uh, run through, and if you're interested in any more of this, feel free to check out the GitHub page, which uh, is I'll leave a link for, and this has all the custom uh, code for the sliders. All right, see you the next time.